Most Americans believe a stroke could never happen to them. But according to the CDC, more than 795,000 strokes happen every year, sometimes causing irreversible damage to the brain and the body. During Stroke Awareness Month, it's important to understand the health impacts of stroke and how education and early detection can save lives. KX News' Paige Gilmar explores one story. Stroke doctors often say time is brain, and time was on Douglas Alm's side. A U.S. veteran and retiree, Alm was living in a suburban nook of Bismarck when he suffered a stroke. Alm never thought a stroke could happen to him. His family didn't have a history of strokes, and he lived an active lifestyle. He always prided himself on never letting grass grow beneath his feet, and pursued hobbies like woodworking, playing guitar, and writing stories with his wife, Carol. But one morning, right before his wife was going to go for an hour long walk, Alm couldn't read one of his stories. I read the first paragraph of the story, and as soon as I went to the next sentence of the second paragraph, I'm looking at the words. I see the words, I understand the words, I couldn't say the words. His wife, who worked as a nurse's aide for a number of years, knew then and there that Alm was having a stroke. Strokes can affect any age range and can be difficult to detect. Some of the side effects include problems with coordination, muscle function, and speech, along with tingling and numbness. Some risk factors include being over the age of 55, smoking, heart disease, and drug use. Alm and his wife were swept into a whirlwind, and within a couple hours, Alm had a procedure to take out the blood clot that was blocking an artery in the left side of his brain. But not everyone is as lucky as Om, with about 14% of patients missing a potential or probable stroke diagnosis, according to recent studies. And when a person is suffering from a stroke, 1.9 million neurons die every minute. That's why early detection is so important. And if it wasn't for Om's wife, he might have missed it himself. I've thought about the fact that she was you know, it was going to go for a walk and it was going to be gone for an hour and a half. And that makes me think um, what, what would have happened in that hour and a half? Would have I recognized something was, I, I'm sure I would have known something was going wrong, but what would have I done about it? Interventional radiologist Andrew Miller at Sanford Health believes that education is the only way to ensure people don't miss a stroke. So education is probably the most important thing to help these people to get them to a facility like Sanford where adequate uh, therapy can be initiated. Douglas's story has already helped improve health safety behaviors in his family and friends. He, he realized from my story he should have got to the doctor right away. For KX News, I'm Paige Gilmar. If you meet the symptoms of a stroke, they say don't take a chance. Call 911 right away and be on the safe side.